The International Space Station was born out of collaboration. In 1984, Ronald Reagan announced the construction of a permanent space station, with the assistance of 11 other nations. Tonight, I am directing NASA to develop a permanently manned space station and to do it within a decade. However, in 1993, due to budgetary constraints, Congress made NASA emphasize affordability, which prompted an unlikely alliance between the U.S. and Russia, former rivals in the Cold War. It really reopened a lot of friendships between Americans and Russians. A lot of uh, folks had developed relationships, and something that's very important in working with the Russians are personal relationships. The United States invited Russia to participate in the development of the new space station, as Russia had already launched its own space station named Mir. Fifteen other nations also agreed to assist with the development and construction of the space station, putting politics aside. NASA had had collaborations with the Europeans, the Canadians, and the Japanese. From 1994 to 1998, space shuttles made 11 trips to Mir, gaining crucial information, which influenced the design of the new space station. Weighing over 462 tons, spanning the length of a football field, and can be seen from Earth with the naked eye, the construction of the ISS is a technological feat in and of itself. Even more amazing is the fact that it was assembled in space. In 1998, the first pressurized module, Zarya, was sent into space via a Russian proton rocket. Over the next two years, other components were either docked robotically or delivered by the whopping 36 space shuttle trips that occurred during this time period. Over the course of over 160 spacewalks, astronauts and robot controllers carefully coordinated the assembly of the space station modules, all while orbiting the Earth at a speed of over 17,000 miles per hour. In November of 2000, the space station was ready for its first human crew, Expedition 1, and the world had its first permanent microgravity lab. Over the course of the International Space Station's nearly two-decade orbit, the ISS's research facilities have participated in over 500 experiments. Immediately after human habitation was allowed, the ISS labs were used to study the effects of microgravity on human physiology and other organisms, such as bacteria and plants. A whole series of greenhouses, for instance, where they were developing uh, methods for growing different kinds of plants, including grains, uh, they were making bread on orbit. This also led to breakthroughs in the field of medicine. Looking at the effects of weightlessness, as well as uh, radiation on the human being. The labs have also been used to study the effects of microgravity on fluids and construction materials, expanding our knowledge of material science and fluid physics. More recently, in 2013, the space station's alpha magnetic spectrometer had detected particles that may have confirmed the existence of dark matter, which could be one of the most important discoveries in physics. This is actually one of the largest international collaborations, even bigger than the collaboration that built the space station itself. They are basically trying to map out the universe, looking for what's called dark matter, and looking for different kinds of radiation. All of these breakthroughs have been possible due to the International Space Station's unique conditions. Unfortunately, due to the high cost of maintenance and technical constraints, the ISS will eventually have to be deorbited. There's the finite lifetime of the hardware. A lot of the systems on the space station were designed only to be used for so many years. They didn't build extras of them. It will be sunk into an isolated region of the ocean to avoid any danger from debris. The heads of space agencies from around the world are trying to keep this partnership alive and prevent deorbiting until 2028. Until then, the International Space Station will continue to facilitate groundbreaking research and symbolize one of humanity's greatest accomplishments. Thanks for watching.